Alright guys, um, we're going to have a short lesson today about directed line segments and partitioning them into segments. So, our objective is to find the point on a directed line segment between two given endpoints that partitions that segment into a ratio, a given ratio. So, directed line segment is a segment that has a direction associated with it. So, it has a specific starting point and a specific ending point. So, a, B would be a, a segment that would start on point A and move to point B, okay? Most of the time, if I have a line segment, it doesn't matter where I start and where I end. But in this case, it does because, let's say I want to, I'm going to move two-thirds of the way down the line. Well, two-thirds of the way depends on where I start and where I end. Two-thirds of the way from A to B is different than two-thirds of the way from B to A. So we need to have that direction. To partition a segment means that I'm going to divide that segment into parts, whatever that ratio is. So if I'm going two-thirds of the way, I'm going to divide it into parts, and the ratio of those parts is going to be two to one. Okay, so we're looking at how we do that. Um, we're going to use a coordinate plane, but then we're also going to do them algebraically without having to even look at the graph. Okay, so let's look at how that, how that works. So... First, we're going to look at how I can do that in the coordinate plane. So if I have the point negative 3, negative 2 for A and 6, 1 for B, I want to find the coordinates of the point P, so where would I be on this line segment, that would partition, so divide this segment into two parts that have a ratio of 2 to 1. So let me make a couple notes here. On the directed line segment AB means A is my starting point and B is my end point. And when it partitions AB in the ratio 2 to 1, that means that the first segment is 2 times the second segment, which is 1. So I have a total, if I do 2 to 1, that gives me a total of 3 equal parts, right? So if I'm 2 over 1, that would be 2 thirds of the way down the line. So 3 equal parts altogether. So what do I need to know? Well, first I need to know the slope of AB. So we use what we know about slope. Rise over run. 3 over 9 is 3. So my slope is, not 3, 1 third. Let's get this right. 1 third. Okay, so my slope is 1 third. How many parts do I have? Well, we just did that up here in the blue. I have three equal parts. So three equal parts. And the coordinates of my starting point, that's my A. A is my starting point. And the coordinates of that point are negative three, negative two. So if I use a coordinate plane, the easy thing to do here is to say, okay, well, I'll just take my rise and my run, and I'll divide them into three parts. So if my rise is three, a third of that rise is one, and another third is another one, so that's my three parts, three parts rise. If I have a run of nine, run of nine here, the three equal parts would make that three and three, okay? So, one-third of the way up the line would be where this one-third and this one-third come together, right here. Another third of the way would be this two-thirds up and two-thirds over, right there. So this point is my one-to-two ratio, and this point is a two-to-one ratio. I've gone one-third and two-thirds up my line. Okay. That should kind of make sense when you find midpoint, you're going half of your slope up and half of your slope over. So half of your rise and half of your run will give you the middle. We're doing the same thing here just with more than two parts. We're doing three parts or four or five or however many we have to do. Okay. So then the next question is, all right, well, what if my slope isn't something that's really easy, like one third that divides really evenly by three? What if it's something that doesn't divide evenly? and I get these weird fractions. Or what if my line segment is so long that I really just don't want to graph it on a coordinate plane, right? What if that line 
segment doesn't really fit nicely on my coordinate plane? What if it's super long? How would I figure that out? So we need a mathematical way, an algebraic type of way to solve for that point P that we need to find. And so that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to give you the formula that makes this work. So the formula here for my x coordinate is x1 plus a over a plus b times x2 minus x1. And then my y coordinate is y1 plus a over a plus b times y2 minus y1. Now that looks like a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff to remember, but here's essentially what it means. x1 and y1 is my starting point. So that's saying, okay, where am I starting from? Because I need to know where I'm starting in order to know where I'm headed, right? How far I'm going to go. So that's my starting point. And to that point, I am adding this A over A plus B. Now that seems kind of like, where is this A and B coming from? And why is it from this fraction? A comes from this ratio 2 to 1. So 2 is A and b is 1. So in other words, my ratio, my partition ratio, is a to b. So a is how far I'm going out of my total number a plus b. So that means a plus b is total, total amount of parts, segments. So if I'm starting somewhere and then I'm adding, for example, two-thirds of the way between my x values, this x2 minus x1, that's the difference between my two x points. Okay, so then my end point is that x2, y2. So that's really what I'm saying. I'm saying starting at this x1, I am going two-thirds of the way between my two x points. I'm going two-thirds of that distance. So let's plug all that in to figure out how we would solve this problem. So the problem we have right now, my a, if I refer back to the what problem we just did, a is negative 3, negative 2, as you can see here, and b is 6, 1. And then lowercase a is 2, lowercase b is 1. I want to partition this a 2 to 1 ratio segment. So then we plug it all in. My x coordinate, I start at negative 3, and I am going 2 thirds, 2, and then 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 thirds, of the way between those two x points. So 6 minus a negative 3. Nine. So negative 3 plus 6, which equals 3. And then we do the same for our y value. My y value starts at negative 2 from my starting point here. And I'm going 2 thirds of the way between my two y values, y minus a negative 2, which is 3. So it's negative 2 plus 2, so 0. That's my x value 3 and my y value 0, so the point P is at 3, 0. If I go to the point 3, 0, that should divide my segment into, th equal, into three equal parts, where I have two in the first half, or first part, and one in the second part. This point right here, 3, 0, divides my line so that I have 2 to 1 ratio of length. Okay. So let's try another example. And this time we're not going to graph, we're just going to use algebraic because it's a lot easier. So I have the points A, negative 3, negative 4, and B, 2, 0. And I want to find the coordinates of point P on the line segment AB that partitions AB into the ratio of 2 to 3. Alright, so 
A, this is my starting point. B is my end point, because it's in that order. Start, end. Make sure you pay attention to that. Sometimes we'll throw a curve at you and make it B, A. So make sure you know where you're starting and ending. And then my two to three over here, that's my A and B. A is two and B is three. So then we plug them in. So here's the formulas again. So in case you need to write those down or look at them again, there they are. So now we plug in x1, that's my x value for my starting point, plus 2 to 3, so I'm going 2 fifths, a plus b is 5. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm going 2 fifths of the way down my line. So the x value is 2 fifths of the way up or down my, my rise between the two points, right? Think in terms of slope, rise, and run. So that's two-fifths of x2 minus x1. So that's 5. So it's negative 3 plus 2, so negative 1. Then we do the same for our y values. Negative 4 plus 2 fifths of the way between 0 and negative 4, which is a length of 4. Negative 4 plus 8 fifths, well, 4 is negative 20 fifths, so negative 12 fifths. So my point P is negative 1, negative 12 fifths. That's an example of a question that I would not want to do on, on a coordinate plane. I would not want to graph that okay, because that 12 fifths is going to be really hard for me to read or find. Okay. All right, let's do one more example. A little more of an application slash word problem E type thing. So my map shows a straight highway between two towns. Let's see an end there. Highway planners want to build two rest stops between the towns, so the rest stops divide the highway into three equal parts. So rest stop one is going to be one third of the way, and rest stop two is going to be two thirds of the way. So I'm going to have two points on here that divide this into three equal parts. So I want to find two different points, two parts. So for the first one, one third of the distance between these two points. So my starting point here, negative three, negative two. My end point, three, three. Let's plug in what we know. So starting point, negative three plus one third of the distance between my two x values. So negative 3 plus 1 third of 6, 1. Negative 1, sorry. <laughs> and then my y value, negative 2 plus 1 third of that distance, 3 plus a negative 2, that's 5. And so I'm going to get negative 2 plus 5 thirds. I get a negative 1 third. So this first rest stop is going to be at negative 1, negative 1 third. Right here. And then I do the same thing for the second one. The only thing I'm changing is that this 1 third becomes 2 thirds. Everything else is the same. I'm starting in the same place. I have the same distance between my x and y values. I'm just going 2 thirds instead of 1 third. And I get 1 and 4 thirds. So that rest stop is at 1 4 thirds. And that's how we answer that question.